Good day. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Minecraft in Exile. And here I am looking straight into the camera in a series in which I do not appear on screen. So, there's really no point in my looking straight into the camera, is there? So, a creature for my amusement. Prepare for battle. Let me know what that's from in the comments, and I shall give you congratulations on knowing an obscure bit of trivia. Um, video game related trivia. What am I doing? I have been monkeying around in this world doing not much to be on. Oh, I know what I've been doing. I mean, it's not, it's not that exciting, but uh, what I've been doing is clearing clearing away some jungle back here in and around my in gardens well melon patches I suppose as well as my uh, animal pens such as they are all the main food groups here we got beef pork chicken mutton um, and melons. So those are all the food groups, right? Or gourds, I suppose. Watermelons and pumpkins. With my silk touch axe. And you can trade for all kinds of emeralds. Now, um, there's a fella who is watching my Minecraft in Exile videos, as far as I can tell, in sequence. Which is kind of cool, actually, from my point of view. Uh, what is that person's name? It's gone right out of my head. He's got like a wily e. Coyote um, profile picture on YouTube. I'm just going to go go into my studio and comments and see what uh, if I can find it here. Right. The YouTube name thing has been in flux here lately and I'm not quite sure what to make of it. But anyway, his current name is Philip McDonough 1094. Now, he brings up an interesting point. Um, he's watching along. He's hit episode 37, so uh, I feel like he's got quite a long way to go. Uh, where are we at here with episodes with Minecraft in Exile? When was the last time I put one of these up? It's been a while. 87. Yeah, he's got a ways to go, and this will be... Unless I've missed something here. This should be episode 88. Um, so anywho, what Philip says is that he doesn't normally go for large automated farms for building blocks. In this case, I would make an exception. Um, what he is referring to is the... Uh, whoop, where's my Minecraft window? is the, um, why did I even come down here? Did I have a reason for coming down here? Oh yes, the fact that it's coming nighttime. What he's referring to is the pyramid that uh, I had been building for a little while at the time that he made that comment, but it was nowhere near finished if that concept is applicable. Oh, I guess it's not quite nighttime, is it? Um, so what he's talking about is, for example, automating cobblestone production, which I have never figured out. And that, his his comment there, uh, I didn't do that for the, for the pyramid. I basically just dug out uh, stone until I had enough to build the damn thing. Um, <clears throat> but his comment got me thinking. Could I, in fact, figure out how to build an automated cobblestone generator all by myself? Now, there might be other ways to go about this, but the only thing that comes to mind is 
that cobble is an uh, it results when the um, when lava and water intersect under certain conditions that maybe aren't entirely clear to me and um, and then you would presumably need to have some kind of a piston or something to kick the to kick the cobblestone into a, I don't know what a chest or something I don't know enough about it to actually say do I have any lava here no no I do not I guess I whoops I guess I covered it all up or filled it all in or something so I could go find a lava pool or I could just jump into my nether portal and go get me a bucket of lava from the land of lava oh of course can I get down to where there's lava easily Ah, uh, gosh, I don't even remember. So we've got fortress over here, and... Can I, in fact... Mm, my goodness, I don't even remember. I don't think so. Oh, hello. How would, you, how would you like to just die? How about that? How about that? Uh, wither. Yes, a wither skeleton. I barely remember what I've explored in this world, to be honest. Uh, okay, we've got lava way down there. That is quite a ways down. So, let me not go that way and um, go this way instead I guess I can what the hell is that a regular skeleton there how about you perish now oh I hear a Oh, what you jigger aghast so what was this way what was this way oh yes more fortress that's right oh thanks for shooting at me you jerk faces oh right more fortress oh right this is where I found the I finally found the uh, the uh, nether wart. All right, I think that in this direction I journeyed a fair ways and I feel like I did in fact get much lower down. Ah, well there's some lava right there. Okay. Let's just let's just take that, shall we? Yeah, let's do that. And maybe we'll stick a torch in there to make up for the the fact that I took the lava in terms of light. Okay, well that was not as complicated as I was making it. Uh, what am I storing in here? Oh, netherrack. That's about it. I don't really have any kind of base going here. Not not any not nothing of significance anyway. Um, mm, 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 mm. so if I was going to try to set up a cobblestone generator, where would I do that? I guess I can play around with, with it in this, uh, in this empty space, open space here. I've been thinking maybe I should fence in my my uh, gourd patches here but anywho I won't do that right now um, so I'm gonna try something here just to start establishing some parameters I'm gonna put a bucket of lava there and a bucket of water 
I guess I should have done that a little quicker. Yeah, I should have done that quicker. Let me pick up the lava. And I'm going to drop water there. Oh, uh, that didn't... Oh. Oh, poop. Well, that wasn't what I wanted. I guess I got obsidian out of it. Um, okay, so here's a thought. If I put a block in between, like this, but now I need more lava. Dang diddly dang it. Okay, well, let's, uh, yeah, let's go back to the nether. I should also pretty up the area around this portal. Boy, that's not nauseating at all. Okay, if I were lava, I would appear randomly distributed throughout the nether rack, the massive quantities of nether rack. I would also be a vast ocean in the nether. And those are the main spots. I guess it can appear in fortresses as well. This is stairs up. Why is this stairs up? Oh, oh god. Hello. Thanks for playing. Let me see if I can shoot that little bugger. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, well that was easy. Okay. Uh, how far away are you? Ah yes, and we get these long lava lava falls as well. I wonder how far away that guy was. Uh, oh, jeez, don't don't go off the beaten path there, or you'll never never return. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Ah, we have the basaltic. biome here with lots of lava. Lots of lava. So maybe I'll take two buckets of lava here. Um, just for fun I'll take one from there and one from there. Alright, and the other thing I think I wanted to do while I'm here was go see if that gas dropped a, a tear that I might be able to find. What I'm looking for is actually experience orbs, which I'm not seeing at all. So, no, I don't have a spyglass in this game. Oh, up there. Hey, hey, hey. That's what I'm talking about. Let's just try not to anger any any uh, zombie piglins. Oh, did he drop? No, he dropped a gunpowder. No tear, though. Well, that's disappointing. Okay. The tears are rare enough that uh, you should really try to get them whenever you can. It's been a long time since I visited this area in game. I haven't actually explored the Nether too much in this in this game. The fortress, the fort, the fortress, the fortress was right where I popped out. And then that first fortress didn't actually contain any netherrack, which is netherrack. Uh, nether... Good lord. What do you call the mushrooms? Nether... The wart. The nether... Is it called nether wart? I think so. Um, and then... That was... There was a lot of dying. And then I started traveling this way, digging, and I happened upon this fortress immediately, which was a surprise. And I, oh, hello. And, um, 
Oh, awesome. Well, that was not ideal. Uh, which then... Uh, I don't suppose I can get down to the plane down there, can I? Oh, I could. Hmm, do I want to? Not really. Not really. Let me just grab some. Actually, I'll just dig some out here. Um, what was I blathering on about? Oh, my forays into the nether. First time around here. Um, whoa. Anyway, so I found this fortress here, which I think I think is actually an entirely different fortress and not an extension of the one that's just over there. But I wouldn't swear to that. We also have the uh, Valley of the Ancient Bones and the Soul Sand and Soul Soil here. I should really um, develop a way of getting down there. But not today. Not today, my friends. Not today. So, he who has two buckets of lava in hand shall return to the overworld. And now it is nighttime. Fortunately for me, I lit up, uh, well, this side of it anyway, of the area around my, my base. So it'll cut down on the number of... Uh, Creeper explosions. Okay, so if I were a smart player, oh, creeper, speak of the devil. Well, well, we'll see if I can shoot you in the head. Success. Didn't die, though. He did not die. Or, oh, no, he did. Okay, good. Good news. Hello, zombie. Anybody else? And that's why you, you want to light up the area around your base. Otherwise, you're going to... Zombies aren't really a problem, nor are skeletons really, although they're annoying. It's those creepers. Okay, so what I'm not sure of here is what will happen when I dig out this. Oh. Obsidian. Alright, so that's not how you do that. That's not how you do that. Now... Okay, so what do you do? Do you... You dig out, think about this now. I wonder how much space you, you need to have. This is, water will run for eight blocks. Like that. And lava will two, I think. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, right now, they'll be separated because because uh, I I left a block there before I started counting. Oh wait, lava doesn't flow as far. Okay, so how far does lava flow? One, two, three, four. Really? That's it? All right, so two, three, four, five. So if I were to, 
Okay, let's try that, see what happens. I don't think anything's going to happen. And so let me move this water one block closer. And you get cobble in the middle, okay, where they meet. And if I dig that out, you get more cobble. Okay, cool. Now, if I were going to murder a skeleton, how would I go about that? I would rush up to it with my shield and hit it with my sword until it died. Okay, so I have in place here a cobble, a primitive cobble generator. Right? Right. So if I were going to be a, uh, sorry, to try and automate the breaking of that block. Could you do that with a piston? I think so. So let me figure that out. So we need to make some... we need to have some redstone and... Um, uh, let's see here. I shall get myself a couple of buckets of water, which have nothing to do with what I'm doing right now, just like to carry around a bucket of water. And uh, put that one back there. The gunpowder can go up there, and the, the bone can go up there. Oh, right, obsidian. Oh, how lovely. Um, okay, so, anywho, don't leave. You came down here for a reason, you big dope. Okay, I think I want an observer uh, to trigger, so I need nether quartz and redstone and cobblestone. So that's not that complicated. Let's, uh, let's get some redstone. Uh, nether quartz, and I have cobblestone, so let us make an observer. Boom! Boom! One observer. Now, if I was a piston, how would I be made? It's a sticky piston, which I don't think I want, and a piston, which is cobblestone, iron, redstone, and planks three planks. So, um, let me just grab some, what is this, dark oak? Grab some dark oak planks and an iron ingot and cobble. I think that's all I need. Piston. So let's make a piston. And what else? A hopper, probably. So for that I need... I need iron. And I need a chest, which I have there. Oh, and I'll also want a chest. Two chests. So, let's make a hopper. Hoppy the hopper. And that's it. Okay, I'll carry some of these ingredients around for now. Is it nighttime again? No. Oh, might be getting there already. Might be getting there already. So if I were... Yeah, it is actually. Not quite. Okay, so let me see here. I want... A, oh, how's that going to work? I want an observer... That isn't going to work. Uh, 
I want to observe that block for a change of state. And then I also want to remove the block with a piston. So how is that going to work? Hmm. That's interesting. I don't know how that's going to work. So if I were a piston, nope, that's the wrong way, isn't it? Yeah, that's the wrong way. Um, Let me... I need a lever. How do you... How do you make a lever? You just need a piece of stone or something, don't you? Lever. Cobble and a stick. There we go. So I'm going to... put a lever... right. So that worked, kinda, kinda. I mean, I got two. Why did the lever break? Hmm. Hmm. So if I were going to, I wonder if it would break if it went over a hopper. Let me, let me try that. Just for funsies, I'm going to uh, what am I going to do here? I'm going to put a hopper here, but in order to have that I want to connect it to the chest, so I think that's right. Uh, looks correct to me. So let's see what happens when I work this lever right now. Not a damn thing, and the lever is vaporized. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So much for my lever. Oh, it's night time now. We're also rapidly coming up on night. So, with that in mind, let me retreat. I guess I could have just put down the bed that I'm carrying, but it's also almost half an hour, which is my self-imposed guideline for episode length of this series. Oh, I want another lever. And maybe I want some redstone, perhaps? I wonder if you can point an observer down, if that's a thing. Uh, let's put the lever there, and let's slap some redstone there. Okay, that worked. No, it won't do anything. But it's just going to make an endless... I wonder how long it... I wonder how far it can push. I wonder how far it can push cobblestone.
I mean, this is one way to do it. <laughs> it's a little manual. Uh, probably I could figure out how to make a repeater circuit. Is this just go forever? No, it does not. Okay, so what is that one? Well, if you count this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So it looks like thirteen is the answer. So I was hoping that having the cobble over the hopper would cause it to break, but that's not that's not a thing apparently. Four, five, six, seven. So that's it, okay. Well, I mean, that's not exactly automated. Um, so how does one get the... How do you get the block to break, I wonder? I don't know the answer to that. Um, hmm. Maybe you put something underneath it that isn't. What happens if you stand on top of a block and you work a lever? Okay, I just got dropped into the path of the lava. All right, so that didn't work at all. That didn't work at all. Um, <laughs> hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. I will have a think on that. And, oh, we're at 33 minutes now. Alrighty, so let me uh, wrap this up as I collect some melons. Uh, and here's me just collecting melons instead of wrapping it up. Alright, well thank you so much for watching. Take good care of yourselves, and I shall see you next time. For real. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye.